Well, you could experience travel issues in other parts of the country. ABC's Andrea Fujii has more on the national outlook of the holiday travel. This is not what holiday travelers are hoping to see today. A passenger on this recent United Airlines flight from Austin to Los Angeles repeatedly kicking a seat and smashing a plastic tray table. Passengers fearing he was under the influence of drugs, eventually restraining him. Unbeknownst to me, there was two other passengers bystanders that had gotten zip ties from the flight attendant. So as I restrained him, um, we zip tied his hands and his feet and then seat belted him to the seat. That man now banned from flying United ever again. Millions of Americans heading to their Thanksgiving destinations today can expect winter like weather on the way. Traditionally, Wednesday is the busiest travel day of the year. A major storm moving through Colorado is expected to drop three feet of snow in the Rockies by this afternoon. That storm then bringing snow and rain to the East Coast tomorrow, just in time for the Macy's Parade in New York. Around parade start time, we're getting soaked. There's some snow off to the north and west. Thankfully, the winds won't be terribly strong. The coldest air of the season then heads into the plains. Wind chills in the Dakotas could drop to negative 40 in the coming days. The National Weather Service warns the threat for heavy snow is increasing across the Great Lakes, warning the Arctic blast will be an abrupt change from the otherwise record warmth this fall. This is United's busiest Thanksgiving ever, both in Newark and across our system. But it's not the weather causing problems so far, it's a lack of staffing. Last night, flights at Newark Airport in New Jersey delayed after the FAA issued a ground delay because of an air traffic controller shortage. United Airlines blaming the FAA, demanding the agency rebuild staffing levels so travelers can depend on safe, efficient air travel. The FAA says it's ramped up hiring new controllers, but training takes time. Andrea Fujii, ABC News, New York.